Hey, I'm Steve Knotts. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install presets into Ableton Live so you can download fun stuff like instruments and effects racks and then find it again after you download it. So to start with, I have a blank Ableton project. First thing you wanna do is open the browser on the side. You can use the show hide browser button or key command if you're down with key commands. Now, normally I have like instruments and audio effects open. Uh, go down to the user library under places and then you can see a folder called presets. When you open this up, you'll see audio effects, instruments, and MIDI effects. These are where you want to drop your downloaded items, whatever that was. So let's go to a finder window and here is, here are some presets I downloaded. Um, they are in zip folders, which might be what you get. This one says, uh, I'll help translate slow ambient pad. That's an ADG file. So that's an instrument. Here we have a production template. That's an ALP file. That's a live pack. Here we have dub verb flanger ADG, that's an effects unit. So let's start with the slow ambient pad instrument. First thing is double click, expand the zip archive. Perfect, here we go. There's an ADG file, slow ambient pad. I know it's an instrument. So I'm gonna go to my browser and notice there's an instrument rack in here, okay? Let's see what happens if I just drag it right on top of instruments. Select, 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 drag instruments and release. It goes in here, slow ambient pad is at the bottom. And from there, I can drag it onto a blank MIDI track and get the instrument appearing at the bottom. Now, I don't want these to be all disorganized in my um, folder of presets. I like to be able to find stuff. So in the live browser, I'm gonna select that slow ambient pad and go to instrument rack and release it right there. Now I have a lot of these, so I gotta scroll down to the S's, but here we can find slow ambient pad, live 10, that's how you get it into your user library. So later on, I can be in instruments. I can go to instrument rack, uh, la 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 la. Oh, where was that one? It's in my user library in my instruments folder under presets. Presets, instruments, instrument rack, and the slow ambient pad. Now, if you don't care about your user library and you just wanna play with it right away, the direct way is get the file, drag it to a MIDI track. Boom, it opens up. Did you see that? Let me delete that off of there. Delete that, delete that. Make a new MIDI track. I'm gonna show you from a brand new blank session with a blank track. You select your preset, drag it on a MIDI track, and it opens up. That's all you have to do to install presets. If you happen to download a pack of presets with multiple files, you can drag them right into the browser and get them going. And then they will stay there. So you can open them up and use them in any other project. Let's take a quick look at an audio effect track. It's gonna be the same kind of thing. So we double click on this dub verb flanger. There we have the file, and let's drag that right onto this audio track. Joink. And there it goes. Dub verb flanger opens up, macro knobs, you can see the uh, devices, and it is ready to go. That's all you have to do to install presets into your Ableton Live library so you can play with them, make some new music, and share it with us in the Mix a Texture community. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.